Yes guys, it's your boy Mopsio. In this video, we are going to be trying to get at Nacho card. He looks kind of amazing, but his height is a massive problem for me. As you can see, I'm showing you some stats. These are the teams I'm going to be using to get him. Bear in mind, I'm not playing the best of FIFAs. I lost in the final like three times today. This is my fourth time. I'm probably my last time. So I need to be on my A game today. I can't be losing another final. Anyway, I'm going to be using my Galaxy A team unlike last week and my Premier League team without Conte as usual Sigerson, Sturridge and Vardy up top is lethal combination let's like, swear down my custom tactics are untouched from last week high pressure football as usual so let's get into the gameplay yeah buddy Skrrr. so we go into our first match and I see that Valencia kid I'm thinking like oh you cannot be serious that guy always plays so well against me man I'm pissed off he can play anyway, he can play striker, defensive mid, centre back, he got stats for them all. Anyway, as you can see from the first shot, I missed my first open chance with Edda and I'm thinking to myself, is this one of them days? But luckily not. Gomez goes straight forward, he gets wide open somehow and he slots the ball home to give us the lead. I'm having so much fun with my Kelsey 18, I ain't gonna lie. Gomez, Edda and their ball out front. They're so lethal bros, they're so fast. It is long shooting, helps out a lot. Gomez and Dabala, they can shoot. And they both can have pace players as well. And somehow Insigne is just becoming a beast for me. He's scoring and assisting from anywhere man. Like that goal, I get lucky with him but what can you do? I need some luck sometimes. Anyway, I think it's because I told him like, I wanna get El Shawar in. So somehow he's just stepped up. So he's doing big weird things for me, you know. I left this clip in just to show you my build up for this goal. I like to win the ball early and style fast counter attack. This allows me to open up so much space. I figured out his weakness and thanks to that Insignia and Gomez are having a field day. He likes to pull his defenders up forward, especially his fullbacks aka Valencia. So I decided to attack from the left hand side only. And this is working out so much for me man. I scored 4 goals in this match. I cannot be even more happy at this. So we end this game. He didn't quit, so that was a valiant effort from him. So on to the next round, can we get it? Yeah, buddy. So our second opponent has a fairly average team at this point of FIFA, but I'm not gonna take it lightly because people with worse teams than mine usually turn out to be so good at this game. Anyway, we get so lucky by getting this penalty. I'm not even sure if Sturridge actually even got touched to be fair. He just dived all over the place, do you see that? No way that was Benoit, but anyway Sigurdsson steps up, he slots the ball home to give myself an early lead. Now we have to focus on winning this tie so we can win that natural card. His height is a problem, but nobody really crosses, so is it really done? You can link him up with Ramos, which is a plus, but anyway, look at that! I always concede corners, man. At 45th minute, it was my fault for not clearing the ball properly. Happened to me last week as well, I couldn't clear the ball so he scored on me on the 45th minute. I need to figure out a way to defend properly and seal out victory like all the pros do. That once the pros go in the lead, they will just hold the ball forever. You cannot get the touch of the ball, they will shut the door completely. That's the mentality I need to keep, that's the only thing that's holding me back from getting gold, one and elite. I just need to work on my defending. Anyway, as you can see on the screen right now, Star is doing some big wave things, you know. I just keep attacking towards the left again, and Star is just finishing off. Now, I definitely wish I took the penalty with him. So, I wish I could have got him the hat trick. At this point, the guy was like, oh man, I can't be arsed for this. He was just pulling his keepers up, he was slide attacking everywhere. At that point, like, I have to take advantage. I scored at Bangor and I dab on him, um, trying to make him reach quick while he wasn't having none of that. So, it's fair play, but. This guy completely fell apart in the second half, which is bad for me, but I don't know what happened to him. I'm so happy with my performance this match, even though I conceded a goal, I scored so many goals as well. I was totally in control. So we start the semi-final and I see his team and he's got that like a Z card, man. He's always scoring against me, man. I was genuinely scared, I ain't gonna lie for him. This guy was actually a decent player, I remember this game like it was yesterday. Technically, it was yesterday, but... He scores on me first year, then I was thinking, oh man, I don't know if I can beat this guy because he was applying pressure left right and center, man. I was just boxed in, but luckily I get this chance. I get so lucky, falls to my player and Edda doing big boy things as usual. He's always there when I need him. 
and Edda has almost got 300 games on him. I'm fucking happy with that. I haven't dropped him. There's so many better options like Akadi at camp. That ball at camp, but Edda is just on a different level, man. He's just like there when I need him. As you can see, Dabala just goes through there and somehow he scores a lucky goal. I scored two lucky goals in this match. To be fair, I don't really deserve that goal. Now extra time and I make this massive tackle with Alexandro, probably saving the whole game. But still, the guy was applying pressure. He goes through with like a Z there and he scores a fucking goal. And look at the time I was thinking, is it GG my G? There was like little time. I had to pull on fucking Mbolo and Ibabo because I spent like 20 minutes on this game, I cannot be losing at this point. I get free with the ball over there and he slots the ball home. Oh my days, I was fucking happy with that man. I didn't even watch the replays because you know what happens in it when you watch replays, people just step up the game differently. As you can see on the screen, it's a penalty shootout now and I score my penalty. And can he score? Of course not. Kevin Trapp saves it. Oh my god, the hero. Donnarumma. Bruv. He's been kicked out of the team for him. What a save, what an epic save. That game was close. By the stats you can see, I was pushed to my limits, man. Onto the final now. So now we're in the final, and he's got a full MLS team. And I'm feeling confident, I ain't gonna lie. He's either gonna go two ways. He's either gonna get smacked, or he's gonna be a proper sick player that knows how to use each player. But luckily for me, Vardy steps up and gives myself an early lead. I'm so fucking happy. I lost three finals today. So I can't be losing another one. He wastes so much time getting to the final just to lose, man. I ain't gonna lie. But look at Sarage. She, he holds off his player, and now he's just in the way, fam. That guy has stepped up massively. Even last week, you saw my gameplay. He was just making a left hand center. Him and Vardy, lethal combination. I had to drop Martial again, man. Him playing on seven was a massive factor for me because he was missing open chances. But look at this guy. He puts Donovan on, yeah, and he makes an impact straight away, like. I don't know, I was not expecting him to have Donovan on the bench, he should have started him, but his stamina is a bit suspect, so so we will tell for him. I was extremely pushed in the second half, I was playing a bit defensive, and as you can see I get clear here with the envelope and he misses, I was so annoyed, but it doesn't make a difference because we've seen at the game and we win the natural card. I'm so happy I've won it again, like I've scored 12 goals in like 4 matches, I'm fucking excited about that. I won't be using the natural card because there's Ramos as well, he's a much better option in that team and he's so overpowered in the game as well. But Nacho can play midfield and defender so I might use my impact sub. Anyway that was my video, hope you guys enjoyed it, catch you all next time. Thunder out.